Today we're doing the owl. You're gonna to wanna to have out all your brushes, pen for transferring, your raw umber paint, your fallow blue, your white paint, your painter's palette, some water. That's your outline that we're putting on top right now. It's got, you don't wanna tape the top with some tape or the labels we provide. It's gonna hinge it in place. You're gonna reach for your graphite paper. Make sure this is shiny side down. And then you're gonna transfer with pressure. Hit all the lines. You don't have to press too hard. I like to use blue because you can see it on the darker outline. So we have the steps set up that you can watch the whole step all the way through, and then there's gonna be a pause icon. And it's a good place to pause. So watch the whole step, go ahead and pause, and then go ahead and do what the step was. So we've got a pause coming up pretty soon. There's the moon. Here's your image. Go ahead and fold it over. Keep it there just in case you need it back. First pause. Go ahead and pause. Get all that out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is our color wash. I'm grabbing for the brown. It's the raw umber. I'm going to call it brown from here on out. And some blue. We've put one in each well. Got our brush out. And we're going to wash in, just like it shows, the moon and brown and wash just means kind of a watercolor layer that you can just kind of wash in so we're using a lot of water and we're just going to wash in the whole owl you don't have to be too too precise about it at this point we just kind of want to know where that is before we paint in the background good place to pause so now we're going to make some background colors so we're going to reach for our brown and that's kind of a single drop and a double drop of brown in the next two wells of your palette. And we're going to reach for the blue and we're going to do a double drop in that single drop of brown and a single drop in that double drop of brown. And then I'm going to take some white. We're just going to put some mixing white right in the middle of the palette. Grab your brush, mix each one of those. And then just so that they look a little bit more like themselves, we're gonna use a little bit of white. Otherwise they're kind of oversaturated. Go ahead and wash out your brush. Pause, get your mixing done. Now I'm reaching for the browner of the two mixtures and I've got my biggest brush. And I am starting at the bottom, so the browner colors at the bottom and we're just going to paint the bottom half. I'm using a lot of water. I want this really wet because I'm going to be mixing the bluer uh, mixture into sort of the top and taking that all the way up. But in the meantime, we're just going to make sure there's a nice thick wet layer on the bottom. Going a little bit more carefully around some of those feet, talons. And then I will make sure it is nice and even. And then I'm reaching for the blue and I'm just kind of massaging that blue into that top layer. I want to make sure that happens first. And then I'm going to take that blue all the way to the top of the canvas panel. And going a little bit more carefully around the bird, around the feathers around the moon. Good 
a place to pause. Now, I'm just grabbing a smaller brush and I'm just gonna clean that up. I wanna make sure that there isn't any white space between the owl and the moon and the background. So just a little bit of kind of housekeeping before we move on. Now I'm gonna go back into our original sort of pure brown and pure white. And I'm just gonna add some of that white into the brown. That's gonna be a nice base tone. Then I'm gonna reach for our blue. Actually, I'm gonna reach for our brown. And I'm gonna add that to our existing blue. If you need more blue, that's fine. And I actually added a little bit of white in there. So that's kind of equal parts blue, brown, and some white. And it makes that kind of gray color. Add a, add a dab of that into the next well, add a kind of generous amount of white. That's kind of a nice medium gray. And we're gonna do the exact same thing next to it. So we took that medium gray, added some white, and made it whiter. Go ahead and pause. Start painting in the bird. So let's get that medium brown. We hit most of the wing, that back wing, some of the face. We're putting in kind of these feathers. This is our base tone. This does not have to be too precise at this point. We're gonna be painting over it and cleaning it up, but we just wanna get something in there. So we got the brown. We're going now into the front wing along that edge. Underneath. Around his neck. Go ahead and pause, get that in there. Gonna reach for our sort of gray tone that we're gonna paint in our half tones. So that's gonna be this back wing, some of this front wing, eyes, a little bit into the beak, kind of his underside around his neck, underneath. A little bit of detail on the feathers. Go ahead and pause. Get that in there. Grabbing for our lighter version of this kind of gray. For some of the lighter half tones. Going into the face, some of the beak, some of the beaks and the wing. Those are looking a little more like feathers. Body of the owl. The feet, we're getting those in there right now. Around this front wing. And these are feathers, doesn't need to be too precise. This is a textured stroke. I'm using the smallest brush we have. Go ahead and pause, get that in there. And now for our lightest gray at this point, these are gonna be all the areas where there's light tones. Now, we are gonna go in and highlight later. So this is just all the areas where you see light we're gonna hit. So that was first this body. Some more precise kind of line work in the feet. Into the feathers. The light parts of the face. We've built up some tone underneath, so. Just the lightest parts of the face. That edge has a little bit of light town on it. And now we're just kind of cleaning this up, reaching for more of the same color.
a little more definition. These parts of the feathers look a little more deliberate, a little more like feathers. Go ahead and pause, get all that in there. Now we're gonna mix the area for the stars. And so I'm taking some of that original blue mixture and adding a lot of white so we get this really nice kind of light blue tone. And some of this kind of original brown mixture and doing the same. In this painting, some of the stars are this kind of brown white and some of them are kind of this blue white. And then these are just nice, big, different color sized stars. And I made some of them brown and some of them blue. You can make them all brown, you can make them all blue, but I just kind of wanted some to look a little bit different in warmth and brightness. So now I'm going in with the blue, doing the same thing. the moon. We know where that is because we washed it in before. Some of that might show through. That looks kind of nice. Now we're going to add some white to both of those existing mixtures. So we're going to lighten up that, what, that blue. And we're going to lighten up that brown. Go ahead and pause. Get all that done. And now we're just going to highlight the stars and the moon. So we're gonna drop that lighter color into the corresponding color. So if you had a brown star, an even browner, a lighter brown star, if you had a blue star, an even lighter blue, and it's just a highlight right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the moon with this lighter color I like. And then we're gonna hit some of the shadows and darker parts of our owl. It's one of the last steps with the darks. So anywhere I see that it needs to get a little bit more defined with a dark, I'm using that, that darkest gray that we worked with. Defining that edge, getting some of this feather texture in there. There we go. and pause, hit your darks. Now we're gonna paint in the highlights. So we're gonna add some pure white. And anywhere that it needs to be lighter than it is right now is where you're gonna hit it with just some white right from the tube. Just spending some time in the face. And my painting might look a little different than yours at this point, so. Anywhere you need your painting to have a little bit of light, we're gonna hit it with some pure white. a little bit more white into the feathers. Go ahead and pause, get in your whites. And so now you just kind of touch up with everything you still have. Anything you still, all of your paint is still there. If you need to mix anything else, you can go back and kind of figure out how you mixed it. And then go ahead and sign it, display it. Look at the owl you just painted. Thanks for doing time for art today.